hey Ron yeah I got the camera I'm gonna practice doing some intros for news time you know we're streaming this episode live for the first time I don't want any mistakes all right so I'll just be in here practicing <clears throat> Hey guys, it's your boy Chad. We're about to do something special for this episode of News Time. We're gonna go live. What? That didn't feel natural. Okay, let's try again. Hey guys, it's your boy Chad. We're about to go live for the first time on my YouTube. Uh, God. Oh, God. Hey, Shotty, show me what that thing do. No. Oh, my God. I gotta stop. Mixing out my intros with the things I say when I hit on women. <sighs> All right, well, one of those has to work. Now, how do you go live on this thing? What does that red flashing light mean? Dibbly. It's news time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host Chad White. Now, here's that host, Chad White. Welcome back to News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the nostalgic news that you didn't know about. Are you a fan of nostalgia? Does nostalgia really get you going? Well, have I got something from the past for you? That's how that goes, right? Coming back from the ages of the early 2000s to the mid, late, early 2000s is uh, uh, G4 Tech TV, or just now known as G4 TV. I've done a story on them before, okay, easy enough, but they're raising from the dead. Risen from the dead? Yes. Uh, G4 is coming back to cable as well as to online. In a new era, bringing a new era of, of new talent and new shows and new ways of making video games on TV a viable platform. Before we get into what shows are coming back and what new shows and what new people are joining them, I want to talk about how I've already done a story on this. Years ago, I believe back in 2017, The Attack which it was a spiritual successor to one of the original shows on G4 TV, Attack of the Show, was brought back by uh, many of the people who worked on that original iteration. And it was noticed, it, it, it was back for a, a, a couple dozen, maybe even a hundred or so live episodes online that were basically funded by, uh, I don't know who funded it, just by the creator, who was Kevin Pereira, uh, and, and by viewers like you. Then, Disney, via their Maker Studios, wanted to produce a... Uh, Maker Studios is this YouTube uh, conglomerate of agency, an agency that basically pays people not that much money to make videos on YouTube. And what they did was they purchased Attack of the Show, and or The Attack, and... And, uh, and, and along with a, game, a show called Parker Plays and a bunch of other video game based shows, they made a little block on Disney XD that lasted, I would say, close to maybe four months, four to six months. It was not a year. Uh, and then at some point, they just kind of silently killed every single project, with the exception of one, I think, was Parker Plays. I think that show might still be going on on Disney XD as we speak, as well as some other gameplay stuff. Uh, but that was back in 2017, and I did an episode called Disney is Treating Gaming Coverage Like It's Not a Game, and it covered the the rise of the attack and the middling of the attack, and then this, uh, you know, eventually the show failed. Within the past two years, that show failed, and, uh, and some things came out about it that production was not very good, and just a lot of promises were broken uh, on a lot of fronts, but then... Enter in uh, early this year, maybe late last year. <laughs> yeah, late last year. Yeah, definitely late last year. Uh, G4 was rumored to be coming back, and thankfully it has. Uh, uh, Blair Herter is one of the uh, the big big wigs. He was a part of the original Attack uh, in its later years, and and now he's help he's helping bring Shepard this entire operation back, uh, thanks to money from Comcast or NBC Universal. Uh, and eventually, the show, before G4, the show, the 
uh, G4 was teased to be coming back and uh, they started doing online stuff with a slate of things from before G4, which is a beta test, uh, which was a beta test that happened this past summer that featured a lot of skeletons of shows that they wanted to do. Uh, and more and more importantly, you just saw the new people that they brought along, like WWE star Xavier Woods, a.k.a. Austin Creed, uh, as well as uh, The Completionist uh, and uh, Kasim G, and just a, a, a bunch of people who have already made their names online in the video game segment. So G4 also hired a new president. Uh, named Russell Ahrens, <laughs> who is the president of Gaming and Fandom Network. And uh, she came along and and is now, has worked with uh, Warner Brothers, Machinima, EA, and Mattel. And she definitely has a, a, a range within this video game segment. So let's get into the games that are coming, the games, the shows that are coming to this network. Uh, so G4 obviously uh, brought in Attack of the Show, and they're bringing that back to life. This time Kevin Pereira is the host, as opposed to the Attack where he wasn't the host. And then the, the first iteration of it where he was the host Attack of the Show. Uh, Olivia Munn is not by his side, uh, nor is Candace Bailey, but it is a rotating uh, crew of people, including the aforementioned, uh, 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 what's his name, <laughs> Austin Creed. And uh, as well as Indiana, uh, Fr- I've never known how to pronounce this, Froskerin Black. And then uh, Froskerin is their nickname, which is uh, then uh, the completionist, uh, Gerard Khalil. And uh, Corey, the Black Hokage, Smallwood, as well as uh, the aforementioned Kasim G, Kasim uh, Garadabe, uh, Gina Darling, Will Neff, and Fiona Nova. Then uh, there's, they're of course, bringing back X-Play, which is going to be uh, spearheaded by Adam Sessler, who I guess in this iteration is uh, doing 20-minute reviews of video games where uh, you can see him talk about a video game in, in long-form fashion, uh, but it's a review. And, and then also as well as video essays uh, with uh, gotcha uh, uh, titles. A show called Boosted. Uh, which is going to be a weekly esports comedy series for people who like watching esports. And uh, it's going to cover the latest trends, news, and tournaments in esports every single week. Uh, of course, they have to have Ninja Warrior, which was a staple on G4, which is the reason why Ninja Warrior is even big over here in the first place. They had the original Japanese version on uh, Mount Midoriyama, and it was always dubbed, and, and, and like you, that's how, that's how it started. And then uh, eventually... Uh, Ninja Warrior uh, uh, was purchased by Americans and uh, TBS and uh, or excuse me, uh, they uh, NBC Universal eventually just turned that into uh, something that is even bigger than what it was before. ESL Gaming G4 is partnering with ESL Gaming, the world's leading esports and gaming lifestyle company, to produce and broadcast several primetime esports programs. The things that you know ESPN used to air, and now they don't because they gave up on that. Because Disney gave up on esports, and then Dungeons and Dragons uh, limited series. It's going to be a D and D live show featuring, uh, you know, people like Jack Black, Tiffany Haddish, Kevin Smith, and uh, and others. It's going to have. It's going to be a show like that featuring celebrities. So that's what G Four has to offer. They've already come back. And they brought in uh, even more people. Along the people I've already announced, there's also Code Miko and uh, Scott the Waz from YouTube is going to have a broadcast version of his show. And what the, essentially what they're doing is they're taking internet stuff, putting it on a linear cable in fashion, and, uh, and, and, but you can still watch all that stuff on the internet for free of charge. Thing is... The only way to watch it on linear cable is you have to have one of their uh, regular ways to watch it, such as Verizon Fios, Cox, and Xfinity TV. That's the only way you can watch it on TV. Versus, you can watch all the live streaming stuff, Attack of the Show, X Play, Scott the Waz, whatever, on their respective G4 and uh, other YouTube channels that are partnering up with them. So that's what G4 has uh, coming back. It's been up for about two weeks now, with the exception of one week being Thanksgiving. But uh, officially it's back, and so far it's doing what it does. Attack of the Show uh, did come back, and it is it feels like it, like Attack of the Show, 
Uh, and and uh, X Play is, a, is a, obviously a different iteration of it, and it's missing one host. But so far, I think they're fine. It's it's not as uh, must t- must see TV as it as it was because they can get your your gaming and uh, geek news anywhere on the internet. But this is this is the original version of that. This is what this is how people this changed lives essentially, and. You know, if even though if some of the people, some of the correspondents, some of the hosts aren't for you, which I would say ninety nine percent of them aren't, with the exception of Kevin and uh, Adam, uh, I, I don't gel with those people. They think uh, screaming and uh, mouth agapeness and uh, uh, and plays on and play on words is, are, are jokes, uh, and they're not. <laughs> but you know what? That it's good for them that uh, that they're there. So G four is back. And that's all we could ever ask for. Speaking of things that we're asking for, why don't you subscribe and check out one of our other videos? Of course, you can head to the website, cpluscomedy.com, where there are so many things that you'll go, how come he couldn't come up with one off the top of his head? You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at cpluscomedy. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chad Black White. Like us on Facebook. Listen to the Constitutional Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And G4, thanks for coming back. Don't leave me again!